Up. Oh. Up. Oh. See that? That's right, Mike. That's a Lambo. Oh, yeah. Lambo bought all by internet money. See all that equipment I got? All by internet money. There's over 900 people in Goat Gang, which means he has $90,000 a month coming in to be able to fund projects like this and be able to afford pieces of equipment. Yeah. Goat King paid for all the equipment. Bro, what planet do you live on? Like, why would I use internet money to fund a construction business just so I can post videos about how cool my construction business is? That is a failing formula. I would never do that. That is stupid. Now, I just want to elaborate on some things. Number one, I want to give a special shout out to you and all of your fans, which are obviously all of my haters. And I look at your comments and everyone's like, t runs an idiot, yada, yada, yada. But here's the thing. Here's the honest truth. You you are one of my biggest fans. You love everything I do. I post a video. I think before the video hit 500 views, you watched that video and you already got an idea. Let's get them. Let's cap on them. Let's make a video on them. Number one, I would like to say this. If people come together in the landscaping community, we can really form a bond together and we can elevate all the prices instead of a guy charging $20 for a lawn, he should be charging 25, 30. Instead of a guy installing pavers at $15 a square foot, he should be installing them at 24. He doesn't know he's losing money, but he is. And you're claiming that I am losing money on all my jobs. He lost money in this job and I can prove it. Which is absurd. I've been in the game for eight years. Have I lost money on some jobs? Oh, hell yeah. I lost more money on jobs than probably 90% of you have made. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? These are lessons. And all Go Gang is, is for me to get on here and tell you things that I made mistakes on. Shit decisions that I made where I ate it financially so you don't have to do the same thing. That's it. The overhead for the labor and the materials don't make sense. The overhead materials come out to be $130,000 and Tigran is negative $100,000 on his job. Because there's other costs involved. It's called overhead. There's a whole bunch of other expenses like your office rent, your office labor, all of the utilities at your office, your insurance. Well, here's the deal, Mikey Mike. The spreadsheet honestly wasn't done correctly because you didn't see page two, page three, page four, page five. And there was much more materials that were added on on the other sheets because I ran out. So. What the spreadsheet does is when the job first starts, which the original contract was $170,000, the budgeted hours, labor, and materials were for $135,000, somewhere around there. I was projecting 20% to make on that job. What ended up happening is after we started, the job was doing so well. Obviously, you know there's change orders. I know that you mow lawns and people never change order you because there's only $25, $30 you're chasing around little baby money and it's fine, not a big deal. I, on the other hand, am at one location for a month, two months, and the customer continuously sees what a great job we're doing and she's like, hey, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. So we went from a $170,000 job, we added on a $30,000 driveway, we added on $40,000 worth of plants. All those plants you see in the front yard that we installed, those are add-ons, those are changes. Because she went to another one of my job sites that we did, she saw this and she was like, wow, that's so much privacy because she has a corner house. I wanna do that. So what did we do? I sent her a bid. It was for 40 24 inch podocarpus trees and she said okay done added another ten thousand dollars in miscellaneous things here and there porch backyard yada yada so now the job is at 249 250 thousand dollars and for you to sit there and criticize the spreadsheet which i didn't even make because guess what the numbers don't lie and what is happening is massive amounts of debt buying equipment they can't afford and running their businesses into the ground <laughs> I had the girls upstairs. I told them, look, I want to keep track of all my jobs because I am fanatic about seeing where the money goes. Because as a business owner in landscaping, one thing is for sure. Money comes in and money can go out so fast if you don't know where you made that mistake. And that's all that spreadsheet is. And by the way, that spreadsheet is available to everybody in Goat Gang. It's free. All you have to do is get in, get into a right community, the right environment, a positive attitude, and you yourself will see massive improvements. So let's go on to the next subject that you criticized me on is the overhead. You're saying I wasn't calculating overhead. I am, of course I am. I'm charging $520. Let me get the exact number for you. $524 a man. This is cost per day. Now, I know a lot of you lawn people don't like to do math, so let me break it down for you. If you pay a guy $20 an hour for eight hours, that's $160. If you pay a guy $40 an hour for eight hours, that's $320. So 
The delta, because I have guys that I'm paying 40, I have guys that I'm paying 20. The delta in between is around $220 a day. How can you explain $524 a day if I'm not charging overhead? Of course I'm charging office rent. Of course I'm charging insurance, machines, trucks, ditch switches, payments. I know a lot of you find it hard to believe and you wanna roll around in a $10,000 truck and feel like you're the shit. I like to enjoy life. I like to have a good time. And the way I do that is by doing more. The more I get, the more I do. It's pretty simple. So sorry to burst your bubble, Mikey Mike, but my overhead is included. It doesn't make any sense. If you pay a guy $20 an hour, it's only $160 a day. How do you explain $524? Where's the other $400 going? I don't really understand. Overhead, payments, payroll, staff, upstairs, office, everything. Lambo, no, this is not paid by Applewood. Absolutely not. This is paid by me, personal. This was a toy. This is not a necessity. I tell everybody this is a bad investment. Horrible. Why? Because most people aren't there yet. I was there. I was ready. This was a lifelong goal of mine. I spent $400,000 on a car. Why did I do that? Because I can. And honestly, why do you even care? This is my car. I guarantee you, if you were here, if you actually knew me for five seconds and you sat in this car, you'd be like, damn T, this is badass. Congratulations. And you'd shake my hand. But I know you're a YouTuber and you like to throw a little shade. I'll play the game. It is what it is. And another comment that you made. People get in Goking and they get way over debt. 90% of people in that group don't have big businesses and they're simply trying to replicate what these other users are doing, but they aren't gonna ever get there following this recipe of disaster i know a few people that you talk about some people that you mentored and coached and you said oh it's a bad idea look i never approved any of that there's people that came into my life young kids young prodigies that i thought were geniuses and they went from a one to a 10 million dollar business and they went bankrupt that has nothing to do on me i never approved of this i never said this is the right move i have always said in the beginning when you start in landscaping you start with small jobs you start with a five thousand dollar job then you go to a ten thousand dollar job and then you go out and you get a ditch switch go get a loan on a ditch switch go get a loan on a truck go get a loan on a trailer make sure all that is brand new because it's more important for it to start every morning than for it to break down i know you're in the used truck game that's fine i have a used truck here and there too but i'm not going to go get a truck that has 200,000 miles on it because that thing's a piece of garbage it's going to break i like to have reliability i don't want to get a phone call from my guys and saying yo the truck won't start i can't do my route i can't mow my lawns boss the truck you bought me doesn't start blew a head gasket i'm not about that i want things to operate correctly i want things to start now for the people that you're talking about i didn't improve any of this i am a big proponent of starting small and going and scaling very very slowly first year five hundred thousand dollars second year seven hundred third year 1.1 million fourth year 1.5 million fifth year two million three million four million once you get the four five million dollars then you can skip because then you have a really good foundation and a good base you can skip all this you can skip all this nonsense of growing slow. The mistakes happen in the beginning. And I'll give you an example. This is why someone got in Goking and for some reason they had a great idea, month six, to go get a $70,000 job. They lost $13,000 on that. Now, I've always said, month six, you should have five, six, seven, $10,000 job max. Because when you do take a haircut on a $10,000 job, it's gonna be $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 max. It's not enough for you to go bankrupt. But when you go from not knowing anything to taking on a 70, 80, $100,000 job, you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail big. I can take a million dollar job on because I've had so many jobs in and out. I've cycled everything, okay? I've repped it out. I know what I'm doing. My team knows what they're doing. And like you said, you even congratulated us. You're like, let's just be very clear. They did a fantastic job on this project. Uh, I would never be able to do the patios and the irrigation and everything that they did on this project. And guess what? Neither can I, but I know how to find people I know how to put people in the right place and I know how to employ people and I take care of people. I change people's life all the time. A kid comes in, employee comes in, they don't know, they're working $20 an hour, they're not knowing anything, they have a failing life and I show them every single thing I did. I bring them up and I said, you can do it too. And they do. Some do, some don't. For the ones that don't, it's not my fault. It's not my fault they didn't succeed. And for the ones that did succeed, also not my fault. A lot of you know that I like Grant Cardone. Okay, Grant Cardone has helped me tremendously. And I've always said it, Grant was not the reason I succeeded. I succeeded because of me. I took his information and I applied it to my life. There's many, many people on this planet that took his information and took a shit. <laughs> 
They didn't do anything. I took action. I'm an action taker. I'm a risk taker. I know how to get things done and I push forward. Other people, they watch a video, they get information, they do nothing. And that's exactly what a lot of you do especially my haters my haters they don't accomplish anything they hate on me for having a lambo having a g-wagon having this having this having a hot chick but bro what have you done nothing you sit there and hate behind a computer and watch mike andy's videos and say yeah tigran's a scam tigran's a scumbag i'm a mike andy's fan who cares okay who cares? Oh, one other thing about the fuel. Now, I don't really understand why he does zeros on all the gas and all the fuel because they was, they're not cheap to fill up his F-350s, etc. The fuel is included in the overhead. We were just double tracking it and we accidentally put it in the spreadsheet. So we deleted it. We zeroed everything out. The fuel is already being tracked from every single job. I run multiple jobs, three, four jobs at a time. And one of the dudes in Goat Gang, his name is Ian McCarthy. He runs a $10 million business in Massachusetts. He's in Goat Gang. He could be my dad. He's extremely intelligent. He knows his numbers and he has this program called Know Your Numbers. And he teaches every single thing about budgeting, payroll, office. Every single thing is in there. So he has helped me, Bree, the office, everything. All the data is inputted in there through his spreadsheets and it's legit. And that's where that whole 524 number spit out because of all the tracking that we do and all the budgeting. So don't worry about the fuel. Oh, and let's not forget about the admin and the selling jobs. I guarantee 30 to 40 hours at least were spent on selling this job. By the time you meet the customer, you go over several revisions, you show, show them different designs, and I don't even see the cost of the architect or the landscape designer cost baked into this at all. The design for this job was created by somebody else. It was another designer that I linked up with and she referred me to this customer because she knew Apple would, did such a great job. So every single job that she finishes, she puts me on a spreadsheet and sends it to the customer. The customer looks, contacts us. I go out there, see the property, meet the customer, send the proposal, and that's how we close. But I do have a designer on board. His name is Taylor. He's fantastic. Great designer. I hit a jackpot. A big win on this one. Taylor is fantastic. He has changed Applewood completely just by him being here and making all of his designs. He is paid by the customer directly. So he's not even in overhead. Admin, is in overhead yes so then then you go around saying yada 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 lawn care 67 percent okay all that all right listen here's the dealio i have nothing against mowing lawns but here's the one thing i do know when i did mow lawns i hated myself it is a stupid game mowing lawns is lame there's no action you're not changing anything people's lives aren't going to be changed by you mowing lawns and you might be like well t people's lives are going to be changed in landscaping dude you're creating an entire new patio an entire new background an entire new play area for the kids ride their bike play pickleball swim do backflips on the freaking grass like you're changing the entire landscape so for someone to come in and say that mowing lawns is better than landscaping like come on bro construction is much better yes there is more risk to construction yes in the beginning you're probably gonna make more money mowing lawns and being bored all the haters out there ask yourself this every single summer you're mowing lawns and you're doing the same shit over and over and over every single lawn you mow ask yourself are you really happy do you really want to be a lawn boy for the rest of your life is that a cool thing or is that a lame thing to me I hated myself. That's why I did everything I could to get out of that hole. And I knew from day one when I was mowing lawns, I'm like, this cannot be my end all. And I know 100% without a doubt, landscaping is not gonna be my end all. This is a business that I start in the beginning and then it branches off to another business. And I know a lot of you haters out there, ooh, go gang, me, 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 me. So what? I make more money in go gang than you do in your business in your mom's business and your dad's business, of course. Because why? Because I work my ass off. I work hard and I'm smart. Well, I'm not that smart. I'm actually kind of stupid. That, that's the thing. You don't have to be a genius. I'm not that smart. I just understand things. And when I listen to somebody that's way more successful than me say, do this, I go, okay, and I do it. And my life changes every single time. None of you take risks like I do. None of you go to places like I do. None of you have teachers like I do. And if you do, you'd be where I am. Because I go and I see what this guy's doing and I'm like, oh man, why am I not doing that? And I go and do it. And my life changes. And I change people's lives. And that's all Goking is. There's about a thousand people in there and all I'm doing is showing what's working for me and telling you this is what works for me. This is who to hire. This is who to fire. Don't do this. Do this. Don't make this mistake. Do this. When you catch people drinking on a job site, don't do this. Do this. 
That's all I do. I am an example. I am a beacon. If I can do it, you can do it.